out and telling your story <laughs> and how difficult it is on that 22 year journey of raising your grandson and your other adopted son. Yeah, well let's give it, show her how much we love her. <laughs> I applaud your courage. I really do. You know, and uh, that's why we're here for moms like you. Thank you. And so our next speaker is someone else I've known for a really long time. And a really special woman. Um, we seem to cross paths every couple of years and renew our friendship and catch up with each other. Who would that be there, Brandy? And so Brandy's going to speak for us. Well, she's going to speak for her to us. <laughs> right, my friend? Yes. All righty. Proud of you, too. Thank you, Wanda. Thank you, Wanda. Hello, everybody. I'm Brandy for you. So for those of you who don't know me, and I'm here to represent Maggie's. Um, it's a drop-in center downtown Toronto. And... Um, it's a nice place to go. Um, it's for working girls and, um, well, anyone, I guess, really, but if you are in that line of work, that's who we are there for, mostly. Um, my friend Jean, Jean McDonald, is the director, this lovely lady right here. Oh, not to finger you out or anything. Um, put her under pressure. <laughs> Jean. Um, but anyways, um, more to the focus, let me focus on more of the reason why we're all here. We all know why we're here, and we're here for a wonderful reason. And um, I feel for the families, for all those who still suffer daily, because you know what? Somebody's missing a daughter, a sister, a niece, an aunt, um, a mother, and we're all affected by this. Um, women are supposed to be honored traditionally um, in any in any culture, in any nationality. So we have to give thanks. We have to give thanks to the mothers who bring us down this road, down this journey. And unfortunately, for a lot of women, we meet up with bad fate. Mm -hmm. And so when that happens, we're all affected. Like I, I heard someone say that we lose seven generations. I think we lose probably a lot more than that. And it's not fair. And the perpetrators who are out there preying on these women should be, there should be justice served for every family that suffers. Yes. Thank you very much. Yes. It's, it's, I'm not looking for brownie points here. I'm, I'm stating a fact. Justice. Yes, we need justice and we need the police to do their jobs. Yes. Okay, it's nice to have a nice job, a nice cushy job where you just push a pen all day. But you know what? The real job of a policeman is getting out there, getting into the communities, doing something about not only our indigenous women, all women, all races, all creeds. So I'd like to take this time out to, I brought a flower for all the families and all the ladies who have been murdered and taken from us before their time. So it's a white flower, so I'm leaving it here for them because I know they're here. So ladies, this is for you. Thank you very much, everyone. I hope you enjoy our day. Awesome. Power to the women. can just put it right over there on the stand there. Um, can we ask the people at the top to come down? We have someone who's willing to sign for those who can't hear us. And so she needs to stand up. Right, Blue? Yeah. Okay.